Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here tide pooling at North Myrtle Beach. I'm down here near the edge of a river, and this tide pool has formed at low tide, and it sort of trapped a pond of water here. And in here are several species. This episode is going to be on the starfish. And this is the biggest starfish I've ever seen and ever seen alive. I'm so excited about sharing with you the story of the starfish. Stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So after I shot this raw video and started researching and editing this episode, I have to make an apology to the biologists. They don't want me to call it a starfish anymore because it's not a fish. They want us to call it a sea star instead so that we avoid the confusion. So I'm going to try my best to say sea star in this video, but sometimes I get excited when I'm talking and I won't think I might accidentally call it a starfish again. Sea stars are actually a kind of echinoderm. The echinoderms include, along with the sea stars, very primitive organisms like brittle stars, sand dollars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. This particular species of starfish is most likely the common sea star whose scientific name is Asterius rubens or Asterius vulgaris. Sea stars like this one most commonly have five arms and in the middle of the body is a part known as the central disc. Sea stars have no blood, no heart, no venous or arterial system. Instead they have a vascular system that's made up of seawater and it controls its movement by this amazing hydraulic system. Sea stars have no large muscles and instead a system of canals that contains the seawater that enters this system through the signature spot on its central disc called the madreporite, also known as a sieve plate. The madreporite acts as a filter for where seawater can enter. With construction machinery for digging and earth moving, the physics of hydraulic systems can create enormous forces. Lacking large muscles, these starfish can use its tiny tube feet to glide across the surface in a remarkable coordination of hundreds or thousands of tiny feet. They can glide along the sand bottom at a rate of at least 60 feet per hour, or even better. They can also use these tube feet to create tiny suction cups at the end of each foot. Starfish can use this hydraulic system and the suction cup two feet to create the incredible forces required to open up its favorite prey, such as a clam or oyster. The starfish mouth is located on the undersurface, known as the oral surface, in the center of the sea star. A bivalve or mollusk or clam that is being preyed upon by a starfish will eventually succumb to the enormous force of the starfish trying to pull it open. Once a gap has been produced, the starfish does another incredible thing. It eviscerates its stomach out of its body through its mouth, puts its stomach inside the clam, releases digestive juices, and digests and absorbs the clam nutrition while its stomach is inside the clam. It's an almost incomprehensible adaptation by these amazing starfish. Not only do the starfish have no large muscles, but they also have no head and no brain. They have a very simple nerve ring around the center of its body. They're sensitive to touch and they have chemical sensors. And there's also sensitive to light. There's five eye spots, one eye spot on the tip of each of their rays. They're able to detect light and shadows. And there's another eye spot underneath that allows it to detect which way it's oriented. Another amazing feature of starfish is that they're able to amputate a limb in a situation to escape a predator. Once this limb has been detached and wiggles about, the plan is for the starfish to make a quick exit while the predator is occupied with the sacrificed limb. The best part of this is that the starfish that escapes can regenerate or grow back that limb. 
And you can see on this particular starfish, it is in fact missing one of its five limbs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door. I'm just fascinated seeing this starfish. I, I just can't tell you. I've seen so many starfish in my life that I've never seen one this big or this alive and be able to really see its structure and how it moves and what it does. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks for watching Nature at Your Door.